guys, how's it going? Today we're going to learn how to draw Venom. Venom. Uh, love Venom. Uh, amazing character. He's got a great design. I'm going to be using a pencil. doesn't really matter what kind of pencil you use. Uh, I'm going to be using the Prismacolor one. I'm going to start with a circle. Right there. Uh, you tend to draw the circle. That's for the brain, kind of the brain mass, brain shape. And I'm going to be drawing down. I'm drawing very light. I hope you can kind of see that. His draw is going to be open, so this character is going to be a little different to design. I'm going to draw his character, uh, I'm going to draw that kind of shape for his jaw. Excuse me. I'm going to draw that kind of shape for his jaw. See, it looks kind of like an Omec head or something. He's got a huge jaw. I'm going to draw the back of his neck. He's got a huge back of the neck. You know, he's kind of a football player. I don't know why they chose uh, Topher Grace to play him in the movie. You know, he's a skinny dude. I mean, he did all right. I liked Topher Grace, but I just didn't think he was good for Venom. I'm drawing that, that shoulder muscle on his back, you know, it's even, right? It, so it crosses over. So what I do is I draw through the form a little bit to find it on this side. His tongue's going to be sticking out. His tongue, there's really no system for the tongue. I would just try to draw it not so symmetrical. You know what I mean? Like not like a full-blown W, you know, make it like vaguely, but kind of in a more not so predictable way, if that makes sense. It, it is only so much you can do, but it's pretty easy. I'm going to draw where the top of his mouth would be, just with a straight line. Remember, these are all thin. i got to emphasize that these are all thin lines because I'm going to draw very much darker over them. Draw a circle here, just a place where the eyes are going to be. All right, and see, hopefully you can see that. That's going to be my general base that I'm going to start off of, right? Uh, hopefully you can see that. This is really thin, like I said, so that I can know where to draw in. So I'm going to start right with the eyes. And I've seen a lot of different versions of the eyes. But generally has got this kind of teardrop shape that wraps around his head. I'm going to pull down here. Some angry lines. Venom's an angry dude. He's such an awesomely designed uh, villain. I really wish they would put him in a movie where he'd be pretty cool. I uh, did not like him in the other movie. I guess he, I guess he kind of was cool for those moments he came out in, but which is like nothing, right? You know, for like what? Uh, ten minutes? It was a joke. All right, this is generally his eye shape, and I'm going to go into the side of his face. I'm not going to be using a, uh, I'm not going to be using a, an eraser this time. I don't really have one. Plus, I want to work quick, you know. I don't want to, I want to know I can't erase, you know, if that makes sense. It makes me draw a little more care, no, hmm. I want to say a little more careful, a little more daring, you know. I'm going to draw his teeth down. Just kind of, I'm generally going to throw, see this really light kind of like rivety shape. You kind of know generally where the teeth are going to fall. And then I'm going to put them in darkly. I'm trying not to draw them too evenly, but they just come out even sometimes. It's just how it is. You know, either way is good. I would recommend not drawing them as evenly as I just did. But I'm trying to push this kind of shape, you know, because they're popping out of his gums, right? They're growing out of his gums, ideally. So I'm trying to put these little shapes as it, you know. I'm darkening the bottom contour to make it look like one row of teeth, you know? You don't want to make them look two separate, you know, you want to make them like one, they're, they come out of one jaw or one, uh, you know, gum line. And he's got this kind of joker smile, it comes all the way back here. I'm 
He's got this skin, kind of reptilian. And he's got that the top layer of skin, which is would be the uh, you know his suit, suit skin thing. And you have this under kind of, you know, this area would be pink here. It kind of connects the top jaw to the bottom. Before I get to the bottom row, I'm going to draw the tongue. Hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw total points on that. It makes it look more real if there's not a, a total total point. Ooh, messed up there. I have to ignore it and move on because I told myself I'm not gonna use an eraser. I'm gonna connect the back of the mouth. See how it it's the back of this mouth over here and it's over here and you can't see it because of the tongue. But I'm gonna draw through like over there. Draw through very thinly and then I'm gonna darken it over here on the edges because that makes sure you definitely hit the right spot. And it's weird too. Uh, when don't try to make it over here and kind of estimate and put it over here. When you do that, it, it, the eye, even people that don't know how to draw, they can just tell something's weird. You know, it doesn't look natural. Bottom row of teeth. Gonna get the sharpener here. One, two. Three. You got it. Drawing in the gum line here, and then on the outside of the gums that's going to wrap around it would be the actual, you know, lip and skin. So you got to be careful to do that. Because what I used to do as a kid is I'll just put one line there, but it's actually, like I said, the teeth sinking into or coming out of really the gum line, and then the skin wrapping around that. I'm not going to do drool in this particular one because I feel drool is going to be, I don't know, I don't want to do it right now. I just don't feel like the drool. Back of the jaw over here. Sometimes I like to lean back, you know, because you, sometimes you feel you're like all up in that drawing, you know what I'm saying? You're all up inside of it and you're like, damn, you got to pull away, you know, pull away because you won't be as objective if you're so close to it. You can't see the whole picture. That's why I like to lean back. You might notice when I'm drawing in my other tutorials, I'll lean back. You know, lean back. Back of the skull. Down to the neck. The traps get freaking huge. He's a big dude. And I think that's about it for now. So I'm looking at it as right now. So what I'm going to do is, and I did this in the other tutorials, and you'll notice, I'm going to look it over very quick on the camera. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to throw a little bit of shading back here for the inside of the back of his mouth, you know. And the reason I do this, and this isn't like for like shading reasons, and this is just more of a presentation reason. Uh, if you're showing this to let's say an art director or someone you're doing a job for, you want them to understand it, you know. You want you don't want to have to explain. Well, this is that. This is that. You know. You want them to just see it instantly, right? So I like to just throw in a little bit of shading to push things back. And the inside of his mouth, that's a good idea. You know, it's going to be real light. You know, I'm not going to go in there and, and really be like, oh, it would be this dark and this dark. I'm not going to full-blown get into value shading and all this other, like, all the complicated stuff. Uh, I'm just going to get into it like that because I feel it just makes the picture look better. The, the tongue would actually attach more down here, too. But I'm kind of letting that go for style's sake. And what else I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, darken the contour of the entire of his entire head, you know. Contour would be the outside thing. If you were just to make all of this completely black, the outside line of that would be the contour. And I'm gonna turn the paper, because like I said, it's easier on my wrist and, you know, I'm using, using my arm as well. But it's a lot easier if I just turn the paper. I don't have to, like, turn my hand any sort of way. I don't have to... In other words, this is natural. Just to turn the paper. It's extremely natural for me. Because that's the way my hand turns as is. So I'm just going to make the paper do my bidding. Ooh. Do my bidding. All right. So. Uh, I'm going to go around the tongue here. That's going to be a, wow. It's going to be a lot. Of... 
don't do what I'm doing. I'm pretty much speeding through this thing for tutorial's sake. Uh, right here, you got all the time in the world, man. Just and don't, like I said, to make this line a little darker. Don't make it thicker all over, right? What you do is you just go right over. That was a little mistake there. You go right over the line, but you just push down harder on the pencil. That's all. That's super crazy hard, but just hard enough. Yeah. And I, I'm like I said uh, in the. Other, I also said this in the other video, but doing this kind of. Uh, for whatever reason, it's just a stylistic thing. I feel it looks nicer. You know, some people might not. Uh, I just feel it looks nicer to put a darker line around the outside of something. It contains a lot of the complicated shapes within it, and I feel it makes the complicated shapes within it uh, look more complicated as well, if that makes any sense at all. You know, I might just be rambling because it's late at night. That's not the contour I know, but this actually comes forward. The jaw does come forward. I'm going to throw a little bit of, sh like, this kind of shading. This is also, again, for reasons of presentation again i'm not really you know just to separate that area that this jaw is coming forward a little bit same thing i'll probably do the same thing for the uh, bottom of the tongue there let me get up and look uh, what i do right now is i look through the camera you kind of see like all right it's going pretty well and i think that's enough for the tutorial guys thanks a lot venom venom Thanks a lot, guys. If you have any questions, any comments at all, please, please, please comment below. And uh, please, if you if you did like this video, share it on Facebook, guys. That's the same thing as giving me money. You know, same thing. Just sharing it. Sharing is caring, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.